Last week, we heard how God gave people a fresh start. People began to trust God, and he became their friend. Do you have a friend you like to share things with? Isn't it good to have a friend you can trust? Today's story is about a man called Abraham, who learned to trust God. Abraham was rich. Abraham had cattle, and he had sheep, and he had donkeys, and he had camels, and he had servants. Abraham was a prosperous man. He was doing well. And one day Abraham heard a voice. God said to him, Abraham, I want you to go to another place. Abraham said, really? Why? God said, Abraham, go to a land that I'll show you, a land that's new to you, and I'll make you a great nation. I'll make you everything. And Abraham said, oh, okay. So he went. He left the land that he knew with his family around him. And he and his wife Sarah and his cattle and his sheep and his camels and his donkeys and his manservants and his maidservants and everything he had, they went off to the new land, the land which God would show him. And they went and they arrived. And it was nice. Abraham was doing well. His wife Sarah was okay. And Abraham said, God, didn't you say something about me being a great nation? And God said, yes. And Abraham said, look, this is a nice land. It's good. I like it. Sarah likes it. We're happy. We've got cattle, we've got sheep, we've got donkeys, we've got camels, we've got maidservants, we've got manservants. We're doing well in every way. But we have no children. And it's kind of disappointing. How are you going to make us a nation if we have no children? And God said to Abraham, look up at the stars in the sky. You see the stars above you? He said, one day your children will be like the stars in the sky. And God said to Abraham, look at the ground below. Look at all the sand on the seashore. One day, your children will be like the sand on the seashore. You won't be able to count them. And Abraham believed God. And God said, that's right. But time went on. He got older and older. He got older and older. And he thought, I'm too old for this. <laughs> and Sarah, his wife, was getting old. And they said, God, how can we have children? And then one day, three strangers came to visit them. Abraham looked off in the distance, and there they were, three men walking towards him. And as they came closer, he ran out to meet them. He said, strangers, welcome, come sit. Be at home. Sarah, 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 where are you? Hey, look, we've got guests. Make them some lunch, some nice bread and some stew and everything. Come on. And so he sat there, and the strangers sat down, and they ate with him. And one of them said to Abraham, we're going to come back next year, and this time next year, you're going to have a child. And Abraham said, me? <laughs> I'm really old, you know. And Sarah heard that and she said, me. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm too old. <laughs> and the stranger said, why are you laughing? And Sarah said, I'm not laughing. And the stranger said, yes, you are. I promise you, this time next year, you'll have a child. And guess what? Next year, Abraham had a son. And he laughed. <laughs> he said, I have a son, my own boy. And he called him Isaac, because that means laughter. And Sarah laughed and she said, I have a son, my own child. And she was so happy. And that was the birth of Isaac. So God's promise to his friend Abraham came true. He did have children and grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. And Abraham was glad that
that he'd trusted God. Close your eyes and think of a good friend who you can trust. Now I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you for friends we can laugh with, and friends we can trust. Thank you that Abraham trusted you, and was called a friend of God. Help us to understand what it means to trust you, and be a friend of God too. Amen.